Welcome back to another video. Today is a little different. Today is, first of all, New Year's. Happy New Year's to... You say New Year's or New... Anyways, the point is, today I am launching a podcast called The Default Podcast for the first time to start out 2019 with something fresh and something new, like a delicious item that is fresh out the oven. We're launching this podcast as me and my friend Josh Gallegos. I've known him since we were like two years old or something like that. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit crazy. It's meant as something that you guys put in the background while you cook or while you clean or while you drive or something like that. I love you guys' input on it. This is our first episode. This is kind of the first time we're doing this, taking it seriously. So I would love for you guys to leave your comments and leave feedback on stuff that you guys think we could change, that you can improve. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of wild. It's kind of crazy. Um, I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys enjoy it. Ding dong. Welcome to the default podcast. It is us ringing your door. Knock, knock. Who is there? Let us in. No, you're supposed to say the default podcast. Oh, <laughs> well, that's oh, right. you are. Joke? Yeah, because you're part of the default. Uh, too. I thought we were both on the outside of the door knocking on the audience. I thought door. we were, but I got confused. <laughs> like, I thought we were trying to bust in because we are the default podcast. Welcome to our first episode. This we is come a- in when <laughs> when no other podcast will. This is the podcast, the podcast. I think we need to restart. <laughs> no, we're not restarting. This is the default podcast. The podcast that turns on when no other podcast will. The one that is the default setting. This podcast is made for you to just turn on the background, do some cooking. And some threshing of wheat. Threshing of wheat. Yeah, outside Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. This is meant for your entertainment because Josh is retarded. We don't use the R word here. Sorry, Josh is not a smart human being. <laughs> <laughs> he is very dumb, and I thought it would be funny for you guys to listen to his idiot rambling. Yeah, so brief like intro to me. I am Sterling's friend since we were like two years old. Yeah. So we've known each other forever. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's about it. That's the only connection we have. Yeah, and so... We have nothing else in common. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I almost just... I felt like I had a penny in my throat, but I didn't. Actually, we went to the same college. Oh yeah, we did go, and we, but we were never roommates. No. Although, while uh, sleeping in the room with no, you... No, you're making this weird. Now it sounds like you bunk. had... Now it sounds I weird. A penny down your throat. That sounds even weirder. That's what you're feeling right I now. I don't like this conversation. The point is, welcome to the podcast. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll be doing this twice a week, a couple different episodes. I hope you guys will join us on our space travels through, through conversation. The sea. And we are doing this primarily for, like, we want this to be something you turn on with something else. Like, you're you're working on something, maybe you're drawing or maybe driving you're, home. You're driving home or maybe you're cooking like he's mentioned before and you just want to listen to something that's entertaining, that's kind of interesting, kind of engages your brain so you're not completely like mind-numbingly going through this thing. And we will help you. Yes. Let us therefore execute this. We will speak and you listen. Yes. Quietly. I think, yes. Okay. Well, this is uh, segmented into different segments. Primarily, <laughs> I love how you're just taking charge. It is weird, actually. <laughs> I like it. It's great. I feel weird about it. Um, we've done this before, and we had a podcast before, and I was always the host, and Sterling's really taking charge. I like it. Yeah, He's well, up. yeah. He what can I say? To his big boy boots. We will actually link the old episodes if you want to listen to them. They're horrible. They're recorded actually, while we were in about college. Just, like uploading straight to the same. Maybe. Well, either way, you'll be able to have access to them at some point, yeah. somehow. But this is episode one, so don't listen to any of the other ones. <laughs> I think you should listen to them. They're actually really funny. Listen to them if you like this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it out. They're totally random. We were literally in our college dorm room, and, um... Not roommates. Yeah, we... The, yeah, okay, now I feel like I need to say that we were, because people think you just spent the night with me a few times, which I is did. weird. We already had an intimate intro. A whole semester. No. Just you and me. Okay, gosh. <laughs> that is not true, Okay. All right, so segments. Let's go ahead and get started with our first one. Let's do it. First segment today, and we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things. We'll probably mix up some segments, throw in a few ones here yeah. and there. Um, Sterling, how do you feel right now? Um, I feel like a rose bush in a field of rose bushes, but I'm like a little bit jealous because I'm not the best rose bush. You have less roses? Yeah, like those dudes with bigger rose bushes. Oh, this. <laughs> that's not what I meant by that. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, that's definitely. I mean, that's definitely accurate. I'm sure there are. But the point is, you, well, this has gone that's how you south feel right now. No, I just meant like what, what triggered this. I, I meant what I was trying to communicate was that I was happy where I am, but there's places for 
me to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it just didn't, like... Sorry, dude. You're stuck the, with your rosebush, yeah, man. <laughs> for the rest of my there's life. There's no change. Oh, well. I How do you feel? feel like a hair. A hair? Yeah. Like a human hair? A he, uh, well, regardless of the type of hair. It's in the wind. A hair in the wind? A hair in is the wind. Is it still attached or is it like free? It's not attached. It's so it's free floating. Yeah. I don't know if it's if it's straight, if it's curly. I don't know what it is, but it's it's me. Is this a good feeling? Is it like freedom or is it like loneliness? It's it's a bit of both and it depends on the change of the wind. I you think know? you feel this way because your fiance is not here. Yeah. I feel aimless and lost and sad. That's a little bit depressing. Also, I am an engaged hair. You're engaged to a woman hair? <laughs> You're yeah. looking for each other in the wind? Yeah. Actually, you know, I could be a woman hair. I don't like this. I'm, I could be a pet. Like, I could be animal fur. Yeah, that's true. You know? Like, I don't care what kind They're, of hair it is. It's just, well, regard, regardless of it, I'm in, in the In my wind. head, you are the worst kind of hair. What is that? I'm not going to say it out loud, is but it, it starts with a P. Is it a part of the rose bush? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. I think I know what you're talking about. Yes. All well, right. So, well, that's how we feel. How do you feel? Don't. Let you us can, know. If you can write something in the comments, maybe. Uh, can you comment on you know what? iTunes? What if we, what if we like, incorporate like, a portion where we like, have one of the audience members like, submit like, how they feel, and we can read that? That would be so funny, actually. We could be like, David today feels this way. David feels that. How do you feel, David? David? Do you think there's a David listening? Probably. David. David. Parker? Ooh. David. David, he's How's listening. MIT? No. <laughs> there's not a David that goes to MIT listening. Yeah. Don't, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. No specifics. Not? Um, if there's a David out there, you should tell us how you feel, and we'll I'm read sure it on the next podcast. sure there's a David that goes to MIT. If there's a David out there. I'm, yeah, but probably not listening. No, if there's a David out there. Guaranteed. Hey, tell us how you feel. We'll read it on the next podcast, David. Or Ashley. Well, now Just David's offended. That. I know how he feels, because you're not telling I don't like, the truth about him. Okay, next segment. All right, let's move on. So, that's how we feel. Let's move on to one of our primary segments, the internet. This is called the internet. The internet. Oh, so powerful. It is above us and below us. It, oh. Through us to, as well. Oh. It's everywhere. It's in our brains. It is. It's on our phones. It's everywhere we look. Every time we eat a bagel. Every time we open bread. Every time we spread that bread open. No, don't. <laughs> with oh, God. butter. It made it so gross. No, it's, it's <laughs> the internet. And so this segment every week is going to be us talking about um, a couple things that we saw. On personally. the internet. Yeah, we're going to bring it up to each other um, and just kind of. Discuss how strange the world is. For example, kung fu biting, kung fu biting, <laughs> kung fu fighting with bulls. This is a thing. They've mixed martial arts and bull fighting. Which? Why is this not on ESPN? Because that sounds it's not so entertaining. Enough, probably, dude. It should be popular because I would watch the crap out of it. Have you? No, I did watch <laughs> a little. I did watch a little bit though, but that hasn't gotten to the point where it's like good to watch. It's just like some dude with an iPhone. Just recording it? Yeah, just recording, like, it's not Ching Chong. Oops. <laughs> I am a racist. <laughs> yes. You suck. I, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, iron out some yeah. of these crass <laughs> things. Yeah, I promise. sorry. So, why is this an interesting thing? I have Because like, it's, like, already dangerous. Yeah. And people are like, oh, not only are we going to fight bulls, we're going to make rules. <laughs> like, you can't do this to the bull. Well, bullfighting before was never actually, like... A fight. Yeah, true. It was just like, look, a red cloak run yeah. into it. Ha ha ha. Like you, you, I think they, I don't even know how it ends. How does it end? I don't Do know. Just actually. run around the whole time? I wonder why do bulls like red so? Why does it piss them off? I don't do know. They see like a flapping red and they're like, oh my I gosh. Think, I think they have their cojones like tied off. Like their ball sack is so, like tight <laughs> so they're already pissed because it hurts. And then they just see red and they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just ticked off. Why? That's how it works at rodeos anyway. Like, yeah, I know. That's how they get them angry. Yeah, but still. So, I mean, that's valid. But yeah, kung fu. How is that not considered animal abuse? It probably is. How is it circles. not? Like, we have, <laughs> like, low key. How is this, like, some of the worst things you could do to animals is like, it's a sport, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what the it's heck? fine. It is kind of weird, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, we just ride them for sport. Like, there's no real reason other than yeah. entertainment. And like people watching. Well, it's not very fun when you're flat horse. Let me just tie you up in a place you don't like, yeah. and then you can try to hit me off, and I'll try to stay on. Yeah. Like they're pissed in two ways. We piss them off so much, and then we're like, "Oh, who can stay on the longest?" Wow. <laughs> yeah, and, they're, and they're mad, yeah. just like freaking get off me. Yeah. What the freak? Rodeos are messed up. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. Dang. And then up. like, you ever been to a rodeo? 
Yeah, yeah. several times. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's freaking training. weird. Some of the ones where they like chase the animals down and like whoop, break their necks to flip them upside down, tie them up. Can you imagine an animal? They're just like chilling. They're like they get put in a little fence thing. They know what's happening. <laughs> they see the horses on either side and they're like, great. <laughs> like my job is to run away and they're trying to flip me and tie me up and leave me for ten seconds. And then the horses know. They like pull backwards and and drag the animal so it can't like start getting up. It's freaking wild, dude. How is this okay? How did this become fine? It's for entertainment. Yeah. This is better than, like, the gladiators. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Unless you hold the animals can at the you same just level like, of humanity, re- I can guess. Can you just, yeah, can you just, like, use that as a catalyst for anything? Like, oh, I killed my cat, and, like, yeah, I was better than the gladiators, so. You know what people wouldn't mind? What? Is, like, bug wars. <laughs> that's true. No one gives a crap about like, bugs. Like, if it was a rodeo, but it was all bugs? Dude, like, beetle, like, um, like, uh, like, like dog fights, in- but with little beetles or something? Yeah. Like, trying to get an ant to ride a spider and see how long it lasts before it dies? I feel like, well, spiders don't Dude, buck. Imagine just having, like, a camera, like, a micro camera or something that can really, like, capture all that detail. Yeah. I don't even know what those and are. And then, like, commentating it? Yeah. Dude, that would be hilarious. That would be amazing. You'd have to commentate like, it. Putting them in cage fights? Yeah, you'd have to get, like, big enough beetles, like the ones with the horns, those fricker yeah. dudes that, like, straight up go at each other. Yeah. They get, like, like, a, dude, get like, a different bug audience. Give him a boxing ring and, like, <laughs> stick, like, hundreds of ants around it's this little like ring. farms around Yeah, yeah, exactly. Around. And they're just, like, watching, but they're not actually. Wow. I think we just stumbled on something. This could be the next big thing. Animal Planet. Listen. Animal Planet. Listen, listen to, to our us. Ideas. Yeah, no, you already. No, listen to it. No, they already. Yeah, you're going to steal it. Copyright. Ooh. We have copyrighted it. Yeah, they already hired Snoop Dogg. So they're probably open they? to ideas. Yeah, they wait. No, that wasn't with them, was it? I don't know what but you're he, talking about right now. Snoop Dogg narrated life, the show or something. What? So freaking hilarious. That sounds amazing. It is. <laughs> it is super, super funny. Whoever did that should uh, come well, with this idea. Was he like talking about like just he like watches life? it? No, he just watches it. He doesn't. It comes up with his own stuff. Oh, what? He's like, oh, the lizard got to run away. And, like all this <laughs> stuff. It's freaking hilarious. You haven't seen that? No. Dude, this it's sounds amazing. amazing. Yeah. It sounds awesome. It's so good. Just Google like Snoop Dogg uh, Earth or Snoop uh, Dogg yeah, Life. No, real don't. quick. Okay. Just so I have it for later. Yeah, yeah. Don't life about that. Snoop Dogg. Life Snoop Dogg. It's a song. Is it really? Uh, probably not. All right. Um, so the internet, Kung Fu and Bulls in China is what yeah. we started with. And we ended with. How does that work? They, like, how do they karate chop a bull? I don't think it's that kind of kung fu. It's, I feel like it's more like jujitsu from what I saw than it is kung fu. But I don't know. Isn't isn't kung fu like the broad, like there are different p- things of kung fu? I don't think so, but I don't know. I, I guess I don't know enough about Because Bra- jujitsu is like Brazilian or whatever. Someone out there who's like a black belt and everything is like just pissed. Like, mm, yeah, they're like, like yeah, yeah. flexing out, breaking several boards. Just, yeah. so <laughs> just flexing out right now. <laughs> yeah. He's passed out on his couch from our conversation. <laughs> Beatles, really? <laughs> like, I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. Guaranteed it's happening. Yep. Um, I don't know. Like, do they just... I guess there's, like, techniques where you can stop people's hearts and stuff. They um, just use that on a bull. I don't think so. Well, from yeah. what I saw, they grab their horns and they have to, like, twist it. But th- you can't just fight a bull it's like that. It's just a rodeo at that no, point. No. They, our rodeos, we don't fight bulls like that. Yeah, how do you kung fu twist? Like, they don't do that in regular kung fu. It's freaking wild, there dude. horns to grab. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I, I don't know why we... Yeah, I don't know how they do that. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem very useful. It doesn't. Like, it how, seems unnecessary. Like, oh, good thing. There's a bull coming. Good thing Johnny is a bullfighter. But it's going to be the fighter. next big thing. Could be. Guaranteed. Or bug fighting. Either Both. way. Bug brawl. <laughs> BB. Never Dude. mind. This is just getting weird. Oh, good ideas. Man. Next segment. We're going to get these done. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to bring these up to the big people. And make millions. All right. So we're going to move on. Let's go ahead and discuss... Um, our primary segment, the default segment, the default segment. This is now, the segment that comes on with no other segment. Will just kidding. Actually, yeah. Oh, it kind of is. It's yeah, let's just segment. cut this segment out and like use it as a highlight. Highlight. Yeah, we can do that. Well, we told um, them. So this is gonna be us where we talk about we discuss something that's like the default thing that people do. Our default life. The the, the regular thing that like, and we're we're gonna question it. We're gonna ask why people do it. For example, or why we do it. Why do we wet our toothbrush, put on the toothpaste, and then wet it again? Is that what you do? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. I don't know why. Yeah. Why do we do that? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's like, it's okay, p- the first wet makes sense yeah. because the toothbrush is sometimes crusty. I agree with that. From sitting out. <laughs> if your toothbrush is crusty. Okay, not crusty. That's not the right word. But it's like, you it's need to. It's dried out. Yeah, it's like a sponge. It's dried out. Yeah, you got to yeah. like wet that boy. Yeah. And then the toothpaste. Why do we wet the toothpaste? Is it because like, do you think it's because like when you, 
it's like soap. You add water, you get like all the bubbles, and it starts to like foam and froth kind froth of thing. A little bit. But I feel like your your mouth is already. I don't know. Yeah, it's already your mouth is wet. You know what we should do? It's Brush our wet. teeth without doing that and see what happens. I I feel like I in a rush I probably do. I don't think I do. I think I no matter what. Double, I don't think I take the time to wet it a second time if I don't need to. I think I double wet no matter what. I always at least single wet. I will wet at least. Well, yeah, once. you have to at least single wet. If you don't single wet, then you have no wetness. Exactly, and that sucks. Like, but it's we like can guarantee. Or we can like agree on that. Like, yeah, single wet priority. priority. Double wet maybe. I don't know. Probably not. I feel like mm. it's unnecessary completely. I don't know, but is it better than single wet? You know. Maybe a little bit. I think it might be. Like, it's probably better. There's a reason we all do it. It's not yeah. just. But how do all of us know? It's because of the way it's, it feels in our mouth. Do you think there's someone out there listening to this that's just like. It's the mouth feel. You know? You, like, it's just not inherently, like, naturally enjoyable I think to put a paste directly onto your teeth like that. Yeah, but I think we you don't got do used that to with it. anything else. Any other kind Lotion. of. Paste, any other kind of, like, paste, like food. We don't like put it straight on our teeth. Um, putting. We put it. We put it on our. Oh yeah. We put it on our tongue, <clears throat> That's because true. our tongue's already fully wet. Our teeth are a little less wet. You know, they're slightly more dry. I don't like that this topic has so much the use of the word wet. Why? I don't know. I just, just, let's just switch. No, things. that's way worse. Um, liquidy. No, it just, <laughs> just stick with wet. Know. It gets worse the more we try. Liquidy isn't that. Do bad. you think though there's someone listening that's like never double wetted and they're just like yeah. Wait, people do that? Yeah. They're just like why? We just open their minds yeah. to something that I'd they've like, never thought about. I like before. to just call out people in the audience that might be listening throughout the whole podcast like Dave, David. Yeah, he's going to email us about how he's feeling. This yeah. dude, the lady, whatever they are, that only single wets have ne- has never done a double wet. Hey, you should give it a shot. Tell us what you think whoever you double wetter are. No, Send us an email. He's not a double wetter. He's a single wetter. Yeah, but oh yeah, single wetter. Try a double wet. Tell us how you feel. We'll uh, yeah. talk about it on the next podcast. Yeah, because we're curious at this point because we've always done it. Yeah. We can't, like, speak from a like single objective wet. standpoint. Yeah. We're not single wetters. Yeah. So. We've never been. We've, <laughs> we've never been there. We've so. always double wet. Yeah. We, and uh, always have. I feel like I need a single wet for a week and let people Have you know. ever brushed your teeth with your finger? No. Like, you didn't have a toothbrush? You, you know who has like, done that? Rub the toothpaste Frickin on Bear it? Bear Grylls, bro. Really? He, yeah, dude. He brushes his teeth with whatever he can find, man. Like leaves. With toothbrush? No, he uses like leaves and plants and mint and stuff when he's in the wild. It's so funny how the wild. ineffective, like how how weak you like it. The job feels when you try and do it with your finger. I've never done that. When I don't want to feel get... weak, so I don't want to do that. I'm already weak. Don't need help. But like you've never been in a situation where you didn't have a toothbrush brush and you needed to brush your teeth. I've been in a situation where I didn't have a toothbrush, but usually that situation also means I don't have a toothpaste. I guess that makes sense. Also, what if you're borrowing I don't it? think I'm desperate enough to so brush my teeth. So, for instance, you went camping, you forgot your toiletries, and so you're borrowing toothpaste I'm from I'm probably somebody. just not going to brush my teeth that night. That's awful. I mean, I would agree. It's not like I purposely forgot it, <laughs> but I'm not going to brush my teeth with my finger. Why not? Because it's better than nothing. Probably. I don't want to stick my finger in my mouth for that long. Clean it. Clean my finger? Yeah. Wash your hands, bro. Dude, still, I don't want to, like, be chilling up in there. It's not that long. You only brush You for sound it. like you prefer it. I don't prefer hmm, it. Interesting. Actually, I very much do not prefer it. You prefer your finger in your mouth brushing <laughs> your teeth no. than you do a brush. No, it's interesting. So, it's so more Oh, uh, the things you learn on a podcast. It's very ineffective hmm, when you try and do it with, interesting. Your, with your fingers. <laughs> it's I was just thinking about that. It's super ineffective. Like it feels like, you you, can't get it like the nothing is getting done. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels like you're like arr, 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 like rubbing your teeth for no reason. Yeah. And despite the fact that the toothpaste is the thing that's cleaning, it's the toothbrush is very integral. Well, yeah. Imagine like trying to do dishes without any sort of sponge or thing. You'd be rubbing it with your hands, even with soap. Yeah. Dude, sponges are what's up. Sponges and cloths, bro. Spon- what? Oh, cloths. If they said clots. Like <laughs> I love blood clots <laughs> and too. sponges and blood clots. Too, man. Sponges, Don't brushes, rags, all those kind of things. Where would we be without them? We would all be sick, maybe. Well, they didn't have them back in the days of yore. Uh, they had they, rags, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had something. They had rags. Next segment. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep talking. No, I <laughs> too much wet. All right. Uh, you know what? But let us know whether you're a single wetter or a double wetter or a uh, dry boy. Because if you're a dry boy... Then you we, shouldn't listen. Yeah. Go away. Go, yeah, leave. You dry? That's disgusting. If you live the dry life, yeah. just bleh, go away. Nobody wants you. you that, that is banal. Crusty brushing? Uh uh-uh. uh, yeah. Not about the crusty brush life. Well, you're the only one that has a crusty brush that you're using. <laughs> I don't know about that. You gotta change if that someone's sucker dry brushing once a month, nonstop. Bro, once is that actually the thing? It's the. I don't get a new toothbrush every that's, month. Well, that's what I've always been told. Let me see. Really? Yeah. How? Dang. 
I should get like a lot more toothbrushes. How many? Mine's probably every month and a day. You know. Should should you poop? No. Should you? I can't. Should you brush your teeth? Jeez Louise! People are waiting for the answers. (laughs) Your toothbrush. Uh Oh. Please Um, tell us. Recommend changing toothbrush. Oh, I was wrong. What? About every three months. Oh, okay, that's about right. That that makes more sense. Yeah, that's good. Three to four months or sooner if the bristles are frayed or crusty. Does it say that? No, I'm throwing that in there. Oh. Um, but yeah, like, if you're a dry boy, don't speak to us. Yep, don't email us, don't comment, don't even like the video. In fact, dislike it if you're a dry boy. Yeah. You piece we of crap. We want you to. We, <laughs> what, please don't. <laughs> Smash that dislike. <laughs> Smash that dislike. All right, let's move on to the next segment. In this next segment called Rapid Fire Questions. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Already. Okay. okay. We're going to talk about different things um, based on Sterling. Basically, ask me a bunch of questions really quick. I will answer quickly because I don't have time to think. And you might, I might Freudian slip, Probably but will. I might not Freudian slip. Definitely. Now, if I say anything weird, people are going to be like, oh, he Freudian slipped. That's what he really likes. All right. So today I'm getting these questions and we'd like to incorporate the audience into this a little bit yeah. going forward. So if you want to ma- email in a list of questions, we will take those, read your name on the air, and then also or just use you- them to question Sterling. Yes. As long as they pass the uh, stamp of approval. Unless you're a crusty boy, then don't even email. Yeah. Don't talk to us at all. Um, so... I got these from the Reddit thread questions. Oh, that's Um, a Reddit thread? Yeah. So I I don't know if these are going to be any good. It's just, it has 37K followers. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 3K. Oh, yeah, (laughs) I feel less less good about this. (laughs) Okay, we will see how this goes. Okay. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? Mm, What is that? Is that where you, like, like just can't move in your sleep? It's like where you're, like, awake. Either way, no. Sleep. You know no, how that, I haven't that had story that. That, that sounds Jared, like a nightmare. Remember that story a that Jared told <laughs> where he, like, he had like a knife going into his chest? No. Like someone was like slowly pressing it, but he was paralyzed asleep. Nope, that sounds horrible, and no, I've happen? never had that. That's nice. Thank God. What? Why don't some of the alternative community class hipsters as alternative? What? That was a really confusing question. Answer the question. I don't boy. get it. What is Big Chungus, and where did it come from? Big Chungus is a type of cheese, and it came from Italy. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. All right, question number uh, four. Help me. What? No. (laughs) That's not a question. This Reddit thread sucks. It does. It's really bad. Uh, Can money buy happiness? No, but it can buy a lot of things that are close. Uh, Can someone explain the show How I Met Your Mother in as little words as possible? It is sucky. You should not watch it. Watch The Office instead. If I am in an accident outside of a VA hospital, will they treat me? They will not. You will have to go inside and pretend you're a dog. A dog. Yeah, you have, to, is, you have to mentally... veterans, bro. Yeah, well, that's my <laughs> point. You're a war dog. <laughs> I was thinking vet. Veterinarian. Slip. <laughs> slip. Uh, uh, I love animals. Man, this sucks. <laughs> Why is the air so much fresher at night? Oh, that's weird, actually. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Probably because people aren't driving around as much. There's less people. That's got to be it. Yeah, their sweaty bodies, their hairy breath. Their crusty brushes. Yeah. 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 It's got to be that. That's interesting. Oh, that is weird. And huh. the air's just crisper and nicer. Yeah. Like, going out into the evening air is Next so question! Better. Sorry, I just, I'm thinking about it now. That's all right. Does anyone know what the largest amount of pickle juice ever drunken is? 16 gallons. Wow. They would die. No. Yeah, if you drink oh, yeah. that much water, you yeah, would you, die. Nope. Yeah. Not pickle juice. <laughs> it's different. It's magical. It's up here. <laughs> how did you how did you propose? Uh with uh, how did I propose? Or I went proposed to. Two. I have I, I've never been proposed to. Why not? I don't know. Guys, you should propose to me. I'm, I could use it. Can tourists visit the US using a Hawaii? This is phone? the stupidest th- <laughs> I the not questions I would know. Um I need friends. I hate my old ones. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give him? I would say start a podcast with the one you hate the most. That's what I did. Suck it! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Rapid fire questions. I have are not over. Freudian slipped. I am ticked. <laughs> These are terrible. Qu- terrible. The point of this is to I'm ask them quickly. Some good ones down here. Ah, great. Uh, yeah, right. I'm not asking them though. Okay, well, what's good. been your worst Christmas? Um, I've never had a bad Christmas. They've That's all just good. been like I don't know. I've never is it really because been. Your like, expectations are kind of just like. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really care about the gifts thing. Like I just want to hang out with like my family and stuff. So yeah. I don't really care. Okay. Cool. Anyway, this has been Rapid Fire Questions. That Ooh. was a... Pfft, yeah, it was. That no lie. I blame Josh. It is his job to get the questions. You're right. I would I like to throw him... about five minutes before us. I would <laughs> like to throw you under the bus in front of everyone. And the first question seemed interesting. So, anyway. You looked at one of the questions and then we're like, yep. <laughs> All right. Well, next time...
<sighs> Hopefully we'll have some some questions for yeah, you. Yeah, email soon. Email yeah, soon. Otherwise, I'll have to come up with some other bad ones, and we'll just have to deal with that. Yeah. Um, let's move on to the next segment. This one is called Hmm. hmm. Where we just we think about something. How <laughs> many M's are in this? Hmm? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Oh dang, it's pretty serious. Yeah. This is a lot that. of this is a lot of thought. Hmm. So hmm. the topic for today hmm. is going to be. Planets. Planets. Hmm. hmm. What is a planet? Why are there planets? Hmm. I do not know. See, what? What? <laughs> was it you trying to tell me that Neptune's pure gas? It's, yeah, it was you. It's Uranus. Oh, yeah. You Uranus. say that like a dumb boy. It's the, Uranus. I'm saying, it, I'm saying it. Oh, really? Let the, us. The let's, uh, politically um, correct YouTube. way. Uh, that doesn't matter. I let's, will not teach my let's children do it the to real say correct Uranus. Way. I bet you will. I won't. How to say the planet. Uranus. It's similar in composition Let to Neptune. There. They're different compositions. They're ice giants. Wait, Uranus who is? is Wait, shh, sh- listen. How do you pronounce the seventh planet from the sun? Uranus. Ah. Hey. Wait. He's a... Su- Uranus. You're right. I was always told Uranus. Oh, these are professors, dang it. <laughs> you are the worst. I win. I hate you. Um, I think it's the one that's sideways. Which one is sideways? All the, they're round, bro. There's no sideways planet. There's one that's flipped on its side. That doesn't like, make it sense. It rotates like this as oh. opposed to like, it, instead of east to west, it's north to south. I don't even, is, the way wait, the, do planets rotate east to west? Yeah, most of them. Oh, wow. Well, I, east to west as in relation to the sun. Wow. Whereas Uranus, it got hit by something, so it's tilted. <clears throat> Dang, that must have been a big hit. I think it's Uranus. It's Uranus or Neptune. Well, so basically, we picked a topic that we know almost nothing <laughs> we about. Know nothing <laughs> about planets, bro. But that's why we're asking about it. Yeah, what is going on with planets, bro? Like, why are they there? Why yeah, is there? Why I would specific? be fine. Why are they so different? I would be fine without Mars. Actually, I like Mars. I'd be fine without Venus. Oh, dude, they're all so cool. Nah, Venus can go away. I don't care that much. Venus kind of sucks. Yeah, Venus is like it's okay. just a crusty rock. I don't think you know that. It's super heat. Is it Venus? Yeah, oh. it's the closest one to the sun. Is it? Dang, you know more about planets than I thought. I see. I know literally. You're making nothing. me question. Let everything. me think. What? Um, there's a there's a phrase that you're supposed to remember. All the planets is like, my mom eats delicious food or something, and it's like. Okay, so M there's for Methuselah. So planet. let's go through the planets real quick. Okay. There's Venus. Venus. There's Mercury. Mercury Earth, Earth. I don't know. Mars. Mars. Mars and Jupiter. Jupiter Saturn, Saturn. Neptune. Neptune. Uranus, Uranus and Jupiter. And we already said Which is, no, what's the Pluto? Pluto's the dead one. He doesn't long he doesn't belong anymore. No. He is our last it's boy. It's just so like it's just a giant so like Earth makes sense, right? There's like Ten. things on it. Like Yeah, there's point. Yeah. To it. <laughs> there's point, like civilization, bro. <laughs> yeah. There's other planets, like, what the heck? Like, why are you there? Who made uh, I guess I know who made them, but Yeah. <laughs> is it like well, uh, Mars? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Mars is chill, though, because, like, we're chilling there with some robots and stuff. That's true. We're going to go. Dude, what if we... <clears throat> what if space... Okay, there was a day when flying was just as, like, out of this... Out of possibility as space. They were like, okay, yeah, like, we could just fly to other countries. Yeah, people had no, like, thought of even <clears throat> thinking about space. That g- makes me think that space travel has the same potential to be commercialized to where it's like, oh, consumers can now just, hey, yeah, I'll see you on Mars in a couple weeks. Or, you know, like air travel. Yeah, it's just like, oh, my mom lives on Mars. Oh, and heck just yeah. like, you know, who knows how long this planet and life will last that we just get that far? What if we get so far we can build our own planets? All right. Let's dude, just... then there would be actual Star Wars. Holy crap. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> we probably would have lightsabers by then. Dude, do you think, like, okay, so we're both Christians. Do you think within that, like, stringent time frame that moving away from earth and going to a different planet fits yeah i think why not why not yeah i i, I have no idea the world could end tomorrow dude yeah <clears throat> so i feel like the sun sure. could just decide to move towards us why could yeah it, <laughs> literally <laughs> if everything is as like freaking crazy you know what's a, crazy is what? that we're in the perfect spot yeah that is actually as far wild. as like planets go yeah Crazy. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't yeah. make sense. But happy that we're chilling. Uranus, Although it's freaking bro. cold here right now. It's like 20 degrees. Yeah. Sun, hurry Tw- up. Uh, hey, sun. Please help. Help, help, help. Get a little closer. You know, I think the dumbest planet... Oh, no. Mercury is the closest one. Mercury is the closest one. And then Venus. And then Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Do you I know who's going to love this conversation? The dumbest planet is Mercury. 
Has to be. I haven't done research, but I'll agree with you for now. All of them are kind of dumb. Like that's no, what I'm, that's, Mars that's is not my dumb. Point. Like okay. they're cool looking, but they're not. Like why who, are they there? Who was the cool kid in the planet high school? Uh, Saturn. Saturn. Yeah, he has those rings. Bro. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Anyone who wears rings is cool. Ha ha! I wear rings. You do not. Wait, do you I, wear rings? I never said you weren't cool. I I, I know. I'm just. Well, you think that I'm just feeding my ego. I am your hated enemy. You are. That's why I started a podcast I consider with you. you. My bestie friend. Ah uh, ha! I have trapped you in a horrible. You are Dwight to my Michael. You are the what? Boyle to my Jake. Dang. Yes. You are the... <sighs> I'd be okay with the Jake and Boyle conversation. Not I, Dwight and Michael. That's fair. I Although I would not be happy with either if I was Boyle or Mike or Dwight. What planet would you want to be? If I was planet? Probably Saturn. That's... Yeah, I Dude, would... there are planets out there, bro. Like, outside of our solar system. Like... Other balls Dude, I of be things. A, uh, I don't like that. I would. <laughs> I would want to be a planet that has a dope name like Z two forty five Darkside. There's or something probably like that. yeah. There's probably a bunch of weird name planets. Let's Type see. in weirdest planet name. Dude, Google is the best, bro. Planet name. Weirdest planet name. It's probably Uranus. Is algorithm. Ten weirdest planets to have been discovered. Cool. Um, Super Saturn. Saturn. Super Saturn. Oh, that's the coolest kid in high school. Yeah, Super Saturn. Dude, he's like Super Saiyan, but Super Saturn. His official like science name is J one four zero seven B. Whoa, <laughs> dude, that's dope. He's like he's like a robot, like, dude. This is literally we're already heading into Star Wars. Yeah, man, dude, that planet is black. What? It's Let straight black this. with red streaks, oh. dude. What? That is crazy. Dude, you guys have to look up the, what's the name of this planet. Um. Uh, this is the just look up Super Saturn. Saturn. Seriously, you guys need to Google this. Holy no, this crap! One isn't Super, Saturn. Super Saturn? Oh, it's not Super Saturn. This one is. Oh, Dude, that's Darth Maul. T R E S two B. Darkest planet ever found. Okay, T R what? T S two B. T R E S two B. T R E S two B. You have got to Google this. What the? This is Darth Maul. That is awesome, dude. Dude, that is dope. That is straight up Darth Maul. What do you think that actually is on there? Is that flame? I don't know. Dude, what? That looks like a See, delicious... What, planets are so like... That's a red what? cinnamon English muffin. <laughs> I would eat planet that. Size, dude, dude. Planet size. Dude, planet size English muffin. That could sustain us forever. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's, it's got baby planets with it. I bet you the further into the like, center you go, the more like frosting there is. There's no frosting it's on an English frosting muffin. Center. I thought it was cinnamon. No, it's just, cinnamon isn't frosting. It's cinnamon. No, it's swirled in. Are, are twisty. Cinnamon is world is swirled in. <laughs> what? But you frost them. No, you don't frost cinnamon. Right? I frost that planet. Okay, I don't way. like the name, the sound of that. What? That oh, is a, a dude! Car. Now I understand. Whoa. I had this. I had this friend in college that loved space, and I'm starting to get it now. Dude, Darth Maul this, planet. This planet is the burning ice planet. It looks like a comet, but it's planet size. But it's burning ice. Yeah. What? Dude, space. Dang, boy. Whew. Whoa. Okay, we have to stop looking at it. Because people have <laughs> no, no idea what's crap. going on. Just put We're it just in, like, uh, Google. It's it's the 10 weirdest planets that have been discovered so far. Oh, that is so cool. Um, <clears throat> it's by the express.co.uk. What an amazing piece of entertainment. Dang I could just. Boy. That is wild. Planets, bro. Dude. Blowing my mind right now. Holy crap. Like. That red planet, what TR, whatever it is, I hope you Google that because that's freaking wild. Dude, there's got to be aliens out Dude, there. Dude, you could even shut our podcast off to go Google that. It's so cool. Okay, there's aliens on that dark planet. <sighs> They're, like, glowing, like, uh, in the night. Like, they don't need vision. Dude, what if it's just, like, a planet of pure Darth Mauls? There's, like, millions of them. Oh, and they're like women and baby Darth Mauls, and they all did that weird flip they're over their lights. They're not women or babies. Their greeting is when they flip they over their lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> there's, like, there's two, and there's like, <laughs> they just yeah. like split into two. Yeah, they have to obviously fertilize. Dude, their greeting is they flip over their lightsabers that one cool way. They're like, hello. Dude, you're so caught up on Star Wars. There's so much more potential. Dude, because we're talking about space, and there's a Darth Maul planet. Uh, Star Wars is weak. TR 42 EB dude. can blow you up. So much could happen. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That is so wild. All right. Wow. Oh, we didn't talk about Big Chungus. <laughs> Big Chungus. I don't... What is that? <laughs> that was going to be my internet segment. You, you brought up the Red Bulls. The Red Bulls. The Bulls in China. Um, I guess you asked me what Red is Bulls Big Chungus in the China. questions. Yeah, I did because it came up on the Reddit. Did it really? Yeah. And it was already what you were going to talk about? Yeah. That's really weird. <laughs> I was going to talk about Big Chungus. I don't want to talk about it. Big Chungus. Just kidding. What is Just that? He's a meme. 
That is dumb. And he looks like Bugs Isn't Bunny, but he's fat. Oh, I've seen that before. I didn't yeah. realize that was not Bugs Bunny. I'm not really sure why he's around. I don't really know. I don't know anything about Big Chungus or Bugs Bunny or things like that. Oh, Big Chungus announced exclusively for the PlayStation 4. Oh, 10 out of 10 would not play. Featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Big Chungus. Kind of, I like this. I would play this. <laughs> By Hello Games, the guys yes. that made No Man's Sky. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is fake. Aw. Uh, Adults only. <laughs> that's funny, actually. Big okay. Chungus. If this was real, I'd play it. Anyway. 10 uh, out of 10 would play. Chinese. I'm not sure why that came up. Anyway. Hmm. Planets. Hmm. Welcome to our... If you have hmm. any factoids about planets to make us think even deeper, please Keep send them, them to yourself. No. I'm not going to read them. I will. Okay, fine. Yeah. Send them to Josh. I'll read them to you and you'll secretly like them. <laughs> That's probably true. Yeah. I, Josh is the educational Sterling one. Sterling won't read them on his own, but yeah. I'll read them to him. Yeah, and then I'd probably be like, dang, that is cool. Yeah, he'll think they're cool. Yeah, because you have to vet them and get rid of the trash ones first. Yeah. So like, hey, guess what? Planets are real. All right, right Sterling, I want you for this last segment. Moving on to tell me a one word story. Just one word. You ready? That, wait. Okay. I'm, I'm right. establishing this. So, what Sterling's going to do, he's going to give me one word that encapsulates meaning, a story, a plot, twists, okay. <laughs> characters, <clears throat> all of it. Okay, ready? Go. Breath. Psst. Plot twist. Plural. <laughs> yeah. Dude. It's not bad. I'd watch that. I would watch that. Yeah. 10 Breaths. out of 10. No, breath. Because oh. it has a plot twist. Is there like a you dot, thought dot, it was, dot between the You thought it was H-S. singular, and then it was like, what? It's plural? He's breathing. He's alive. You know what? He didn't that have is, one breath. I, I applaud you. You you put in a, a twist in there. Yeah. It immediately thinks makes me think. <laughs> it, it thinks. Here's the thing, though. <clears throat> breath. It's not a living thing if you have one breath. If you have breaths, you're living currently because you're breathing it takes breath or there's multiple things dude fish how do they breathe water (laughs) it's because they're gills bro what is a gill it takes the oxygen from the water and transfers it dude that's insane we don't have that we have lungs dude that sucks (laughs) what if we had what if we have both bro where would the gills be though Neck. No, <laughs> yes, I don't they want would. Them on my neck. They'd be right on your neck. That would suck. I want them on the sides of my. That neck. makes more. No, that's where your lungs are, dude. Exactly. Okay. So it's the same thing. It goes no. straight to the lungs. Oh, okay. It's like it filters into the same system. Maybe one side's lungs and one side's gills. Yeah. Or we just get some lungs and that can do both. How oh do my god. Planets gosh. breathe in space. That, that 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 no, they don't. What if there's a living planet? This is getting really weird. Like But dude, fishes can it's breathe just a giant fish thing. fishes. Fish can breathe water. <laughs> Have they you ever can tried breathing water. You can no, breathe. I will die. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. We're they can literally swim. They're pure float. They never feel gravity. What? I think they do, dude. That's wild. They can float, but I think they feel gravity. Because if you go too low, it gets pressure. That's pressure not is. gravity. That's just pressure. Because it comes from everywhere. The pressure comes from gravity, though. Well, yeah, it comes from gravity, but it comes from every angle when it's pressure. Not Gravity is, like, only down. Right, but why is it further down the more pressure? Yeah, no, gravity. that makes sense, but they feel the <laughs> <It's because of laughs> gravity. But they feel the pressure from all sides. They don't ever feel a pull downwards, um, except for, like, current, maybe. Okay, that makes Dude, sense. Dude, that's saying. freaking wild. They're just like, up, sure. Down? Why not? <laughs> Imagine That's if freaking we could do wild. That. They have three like sixty. Yeah, just like <laughs> just like going up. Yeah, going down. Like if we you're have mad to use elevators. Just like bye. Yeah, and then <laughs> hits your head on the you. popcorn ceiling. Yeah. All right. Maybe Would I will. We have houses like that. No, probably not. <sighs> you just have like just a have tube. Open ceilings. Oh yeah, just they'd be just big cubes. Yeah. And your room would be on the top floor. That's what fish you just use. flip upside down. Your blood wouldn't even mind because it is also three D. That doesn't. <laughs> well, it's already 3D. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Anyway, one word story is over. Yes, and that actually concludes this episode of the Default Podcast. Hey, thanks for listening. This is our first launch podcast, so yeah. hope you liked it. Yeah, I hope you did. If it you was, didn't, it was full of chewiness. <sighs> I liked. I liked the chewiness of it. I don't know how I feel about the chewiness. I, chewiness is a good thing. It I means would feel that, that people could. <clears throat> so basically, our podcast is like chew. a muscle, like the the food muscle, because it's just pure no texture chew. The food muscle? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? You eat muscles? Like, oh, you go to the restaurant order muscles? Oh, like M-U-S-S-E-L. <laughs> yes. I thought you meant, like, everyone has one food muscle. No, 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 no. Oh, that's <laughs> funny, too. That's your job, bro. No, wait. No, There's way more than that. Anyways, yeah, but you're... 
whatever, the muscle that's attached. <laughs> Stop exposing me. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm saying muscle. Yeah, okay. Our podcast is like a chewy muscle. Yeah. Next next podcast, we'll work on some texture. Brain. We'll toast that muscle a little bit. Yeah. It might not be the best we'll idea. We'll season it. We'll season it, add a little bit of texture, yeah. give it some crunch. Might not be the best, but it'll be different. Yeah, it'll be a little bit different. A little yeah. more. I mean, if what it, what good is a podcast without its texture? Yeah. It's default. Yeah, exactly. This is a podcast that turns on when no other podcast will. If you want, like, that basic default thing, you want it to be good. Like, yeah. It, the reason it's default is because it's the preferred we're choice. Like, we're like podcast chefs. We're putting in seasonings to discover the greatest version of a free ta podcast. Yeah. Free ta podcast, but... We need some practice, okay? Yeah. Sure. So Maybe we didn't put the lid on and we didn't get as much of a puff as we'd like. But you're our guinea pigs. Taste Don't test with us, please. Taste. Taste our podcast. And enjoy. What's it missing? The distinct flavors. This is getting awesome. I love it. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Never. I don't want to breathe at them. It's the last thing I do. Bye.